Hey y'all, welcome into the channel, you guys. Woo! Let me woo side this morning. I don't know what it is about today. Okay. <laughs> I do though. Today is Thursday and it's Throwback Thursday. Okay, on Throwback Thursdays, y'all, the devil be mad. Oh, he be big mad. Okay, he be big, big mad. And anybody using his energy, they ask to be mad too. Okay. So you chosen, you would need to make sure that you just know this, take plenty of deep breaths because know that the energy is triggered. So people are going to be trying to trigger you into feeling some type of way. Okay. Things may be not falling into plan the way that you desire. Okay. Um, being late to work. Okay. Uh, systems not working. Okay. Y'all long story short. I'm in my honey's car today because I couldn't get my car out the gate because the gate wouldn't open. <laughs> so I am going to be late to work today. Y'all know I, I don't be trying to be late, okay? I be trying to be on time. All right. So my frustrations is a little, er, 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 a little out of there this morning, okay? But at the end of the day, all right, I ain't even going to trip because I already know what time it is. I already know what's going on, okay? So I, the other reason that I, I'm going to tell you that I know what's going on is for the simple fact that last night, well, at about, had to be about three something this morning, um, I began to... I woke up, for one, I woke up after a dream that I had, okay, that I'll be talking to you guys about um, in a few a later readings, okay, um, maybe either Sunday or Monday, one of the two, but I was, I had a dream, okay, and I woke up out of that dream, I got up, I used the restroom, it wasn't a bad dream, it was a pleasant dream, and the nonsense started, how they say, the buffoolery started when I was trying to go back to sleep. So as I was trying to go back to sleep, um, I began to see magic being thrown at me and I was under spiritual warfare. Okay. Um, this spiritual warfare of course was from the enemy and the energy was the enemy being, uh, in a space where they wanted to throw magic. And they wanted to throw this magic at me for the simple fact that uh, they were trying to they were trying to to cause harm or trying to cause some type of damage or trying to um, and it was it was several energies throwing magic. I could see them in the spirit. Okay, these were witches, warlocks. Okay, I can see their energy so clear. I always have been able to see their energy. Um, and I could see them gathering together, trying to surround me and throw magic at me, okay? Um, I saw flashes of purple and black, and they were throwing this magic. Basically, like I said, I guess their intent is to try to slow me down or stop me in some type of way or cause some type of harm, okay? Maybe even to cause the frustration that I feel this morning, who knows? But the vibe is this. I began to, to somewhat pray, but speak to them from a spiritual authority, okay? See, we have what's called spiritual authority. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. Thank you, most high, for clear and precise messages for my people today on this day. So we have what's called spiritual authority, okay? And when you have spiritual authority, all right, then what you have the power to do is to speak in the spirit to energies that are trying to cause you harm. And simply what you do is you let them know their place. You let them know what lane they should be in. And you let them know that they are violating the rules and laws against you as being a chosen individual. Okay? That is your spiritual birthright. Okay? To declare victory over the enemy. To declare that the enemy has no power. To remind them who they are. And remind them of the part of you that is irritating them, which is God. See, the God in you has triggered these folks, okay? They don't like it. But little do they know, the God in you is the God in them that if they would choose to use it in the right way, they could be just as spiritually awoken, just as spiritually powerful as you. But see, these people that are throwing magic, they choose to use the spirit and energy of God for 
uh, negative, for ill intent, to cause harm, to disturb the peace. And so therefore, when you as your being this chosen person know your spiritual authority and you declare it to them, you remind them who they are, okay? It's like you you send the devil, okay? You, you, you put the devil's dick in the dirt, okay? Excuse my language, but that's how I'm being told to share that with y'all. You put the devil's dick in the dirt, okay? And so it's that type of a vibe when you use your spiritual authority in the spirit, okay? So simply, all it takes is for you to just kind of sit back you see them one you already know that nothing that they're doing is going to work it's deemed powerless already but see it's the fact that the enemy thinks they have the power they think that they have some type of control but when you remind them who you are and who god is in you and then you also remember and remind them it's like you jog their memory one time okay you jog their memory one time and you be like oh so okay you're triggered by the god in me but the God in me is also the God that's in you. So really everything that you're sending my way, you're sending to God. And then God be like, oh, they sending, they sending magic? And then you be like, yeah, Lord, they put magic on you. <laughs> and the Lord be like, no, nah, not on me. They putting it on themselves. And then that's what happens. And that's what's called a return to sender in the spirit, okay? So what ends up happening is everything that they are trying to throw at you, it actually in turn turns around and it goes right back to sender. But a simple fact, that you stand in your power, okay, in your spiritual authority. Y'all know what that is right there, but mm hmm yep. You stand in your spiritual authority, and then you send it back. And they have to then um, be held at what's called accountable, okay? Archangel Michael energy is here, all right? They have to be held accountable, okay? When they're held accountable, and if you are right in your spiritual authority and in your spiritual ranking, then basically they get it all back and they get it back 10 times harder than what it was thrown at you okay so the little harm that they think they're doing to you they're not what they're actually doing so let's talk about it because what they're actually doing is they are empowering you little do they know because each attack that they send you you end up being stronger because you learn more and more in the spirit of your spiritual strength you learn more and more in the spirit of how to handle the attacks how to deal with the ridicule how to deal with what it is that they're sending you the obstacles the, the 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 harm the disturbance of the peace you learn how alternate ways of how to how to go about and incorporate peace into your life how to speak positivity how to lean more on not your understanding but God's how to surrender and give God all the control and power because when you do so and you continue to have the spirit of forgiveness then what you're doing is you are becoming one powerful mf okay so it's a vibe where and it just it triggers them even more and you just keep getting better and better and they just keep getting triggered and triggered and it's like nothing that that you can do outside of continuing to do you continuing to operate out of your spiritual authority which god has given you the power and the anointing to do okay there are spiritual gifts that are being bestowed upon us every time the enemy attacks. So instead of you you falling or you failing, okay, you end up climbing higher and higher and higher. You end up ascending higher and higher and higher, okay? And that's why the enemy is mad. This has been your read for this morning. I hope that you guys enjoy, okay? You guys remember to tap in, tap into your spiritual authority, okay? You are anointed to do so, okay? You ain't, you ain't just, how they say, they don't call a future future for no reason? Well, baby, they don't call you the chosen for no reason, okay? The being chosen, you come with certain perks, okay? How you show up to the party and forget the perks, okay? We ain't forgetting the perks. The chosen are not forgetting any perks, all right? This has been your read. I hope that you guys enjoy, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.